Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And we got the history like this. I want to show y'all right here, Hosea 4 and 6. So God said the Israelites is above all people. You're not hearing this in them schools. They saying you sisters can't even go and work a job if you don't take them dreads out your damn head. These is the curses God put upon us. But have you ever heard of Sarah Bartman? All right, bro, appreciate you. We got a flyer and an address on the back. But look at this right here. This right here is Sarah Bartman. It said known as uh, Sarah Bartman was recruited, watch your finger, watch your finger, to work in a Paris zoo because of a genetic characteristic known as uh, steatopia, whatever that case is. But it basically, the buttocks and elongated lipids. This is a sister they put in the zoo because she had a big one. Now, do you see women doing this today? Like where? Oh, oh come here, come here, come here. Like, say, say it again. No, 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 no. Where? There ain't one specific spot. America. I mean, I, you, you ain't lying. I help you. Strip clubs. That's right. Bring it Milwaukee. Out. Detroit. Anywhere, anywhere in the... Since you around the prophets of God, ain't nothing about to happen to you today. And if you do, it's of God. But understand, guess what? We got to stay focused. Something going to come and try to distract you and keep you away from learning the greatest history that you ever gonna learn. This was stripped from you when we went through slavery. Look what you think they did to this sister. It says that the, uh, she was also raped. It said, and other naked black women with the same shape, they were also raped throughout the 28 and 30. Whole whole there four and six. What you say? I'll show you, watch this, Deuteronomy 28 and 30. You said, why was the black women getting raped during the time of slavery, right? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. Now remember, the curses is in the Bible so we can identify who the Israelites are today. So read 40, 46 real fast. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee. The curses will be upon us, Roshan. For a sign. For what? For a sign. My brother with the Columbia hat, what does a sign do? Like in order to know that that's AutoZone, I gotta look at the what? The sign. So in order to know that that's a Mercedes Benz, you look at the what? So in order to know who the Israelites are today, we use the curses as a, that's how you know we the Israelites. Jump back down to 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 30. Thou shalt be trust a wife. So you have a wife. And look at this. These men, we was had married, strong family households. Men that took care of their families and rose up and didn't allow them to become no baby mamas. Didn't say, hey, he go $500. Go to Walgreens, get you a Plan B pill. And you, 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 you think in your mind that you're not a murderer. I ain't never killed nobody. Bro, you didn't have four, five sisters swallow Plan Bs with a damn orange juice for breakfast in the morning. Talking about I ain't never killed nobody. Come on, man. And another man shall lie with her. Another man what? Shall lie with her. Read it from the top, Rochelle. You ain't never heard this before. I, I, that's why we always fall asleep in church. That's why don't nobody want to go. And out of all that long time that the pastor be talking, what he do? Throw that collection plate around no. two, three, four times. You watching your mama struggle, broke, trying to keep up with the bills. She a single mother, working hard, four, five, six kids. And the pastor talking about some, mm -hmm. yeah, putting city collection plate around one more time. Come on. Thou shalt be Trump a wife. So we will have a wife. And another man shall lie with her. That's that white man. He said he would lie with her. These women was raped. They was forced into this. Right. Watch this. And thou shalt build in house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. Come on. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. So Rochelle, the curses that God put upon us and said, you will go through that during the time of slavery, and this will happen to our women because we didn't keep his word. You missed it because you trying to multitask. You on the phone. Glee supposed to be trying to tell you, hey, look, call me back when you done listening to the prophet. Don't let, I told you someone going to distract you. Read it again. Thou shalt be taught a wife. So us, we had wife free. And another man shall lie with Due to us breaking the laws of God, it said another man will what? Shall lie with her. You think these sisters wanted to do that? No, but God said one of the curses that will come upon you for being disobedient to what I say do is that we will go have our names changed, we will lose our nationality, we will be cursed in the city, cursed in the field, we will go on slave ships. All these things are identifying markers to let you know who the Israelites are today. You are from the 12 tribes of Israel. 
But you know what? After these men raped them, these sisters were stripped of their dignity, their self-respect, but also of their culture, their history, their understanding. Now, instead of being married to another Israelite, the so-called black man, now you run and open. You willingly give yourself to the white man. You willingly say, I don't need a black man. You willingly say, I'm going to continue to do what I need to do. You can put that down. I don't need nobody to tell me nothing. I'm an independent. You know when black women say they're independent, they really saying, I don't want a black man. That's what that means. And imagine how you say that as a child growing up in a single mother household, and you hear your mama saying, I don't need a man. You ain't, you ain't even thinking about how that affects the child. How do you think the child will feel about that? Come here, come here, come here. Say it again. What, what are the sisters that say I don't need a man with, with boys as kids? Don't feel, make them kids feel? I, hey, that's, that's sister, sister Rochelle keeping it real. So in order to love God as an Israelite, you got to keep his what? His commandments, right? No, no, it's the commandments, the word, Isaiah, Isaiah 8 20. Let's get that real fast. And then I'm going to get you one commandment you can do. My brother, my brother right there, I'm just going to see if you want to come. Come on. Isaiah 8, 20, then we're going to go to Deuteronomy 22. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. Huh? To the law. To the what? To the law. What is we about to show, Sister Rochelle? To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. So if you don't hear nobody speak according to this word, like you said, it's the word, the law, read. It is because there is no light in them. And that light is the laws of God. That's what we got to come back to. We in a world full of darkness. That's why we a shoot, kill, murder, steal, don't even think twice about it. Make a song about it, rap about it. Sisters can't even grieve in peace because they, they son name keep getting brought up talking about some, I'm gonna smoke two, I'm gonna put them in a pack. These, these are things that go on in the community. So if you frowning at that, it's because, hey, it's the younger generation, but us as men and women have to start showing these brothers and sisters the right Bring way. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and five. This is the way that we gonna see if Rochelle really love God. Put Glenn back on the phone. Put him on speaker. Let me talk to Glenn. Let me talk to Glenn. Hey, this Glenn, this your brother? This, hey, Glenn, can we call you right back? Okay, we'll call you right back. He said, yeah, appreciate you. He says, call him right back. Don't ask him. He said, we can call him right back. Read uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Huh? The woman. The what? The woman. Rochelle. Shall not wear. Shall not wear. Wear. Is wear a piece of clothing? If it say you shall not wear, like if I say when you come out the house, you shall not wear, am I saying that you can't wear something? Ain't no way, ain't no other way else to think about that. It said the woman shall not wear. You know when we read this is the love of God, how easy that was to understand? Right. Now it's saying, read it again from the top. The woman, the woman shall not wear. Shall not wear. Does God care about how you dress? Yes, you got it. It's just a shit. You cook it. You might come through today. Watch this. That which pertaineth unto a man. So now it says the woman, Rochelle, as an Israelite, it's a dress code. It's things that as a woman, a child of God, that God care about how you dress. Just like any other man with a daughter that got some kind of common sense. Right. You don't want your daughter walking outside the house wearing any old and everything. Right. You see what I'm saying? So why, why all of a sudden now when it comes to God, he, he's just an irresponsible father, he don't care. But, but you call on him when it's money, when you need something. Watch this. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, Rochelle, this is going to be the million dollar question right here. What is a woman's garment? Garment is another word for clothes. Come here, come here, come here. You got you to gotta hear everybody. You said what? What else? Say it again. You cooking? Clap it up for the sister. She's learning. So look, Rochelle. Bible said that the woman shall not wear what pertains to men, and the men shall not wear what? A woman's garment. They can't wear women's clothes like Medea. What do Medea wear? Is the Medea a woman? Say it again. So God said, when it comes to the men, men can't wear what? Women clothes. So we know that a woman's clothes is a dress, right? Read it from the top, Rochelle. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, Rochelle, what is the piece of clothing that a man has that belongs to him? That a woman can't wear? What about these? Is that for men? Yes. So God said that you can't wear what? Pants. So what you gotta wear? 
Sister, that's when you feel beautiful. I don't know why these sisters now want to reject their femininity and just embrace it. Sisters want to be strong and independent. No, be strongly feminine. Be strong in keeping the laws of God and come back to covering your body up. Because when you don't, when you wear these tight pants, these little shorts, look at him right here. School, what you looking at? Oh, great. Come on out right here. I got to look. Sis, I'm telling you. School, what's your name? C? Your name is C? I want to ask you something. What do men look at when... No, 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 Rochelle. You can't go nowhere yet. Look at him. Hey. Look at him. Hey, listen to this. How old is y'all? You don't mind me asking. 45? 50, what about you? You 49? We look good when we get older. Black don't crack unless you do it. But I want you to understand something. Listen to this, Rochelle. These is brothers that really care about you putting their life on the line. God, what do men look at when women show their body off and they wear tight jeans and booty shorts? Say it again. Now, God said you can't wear what? Can't wear pants for all that do so. For all that do so are, are an abomination. Now, God said, are you is an abomination unto the Lord thy God? Jeremiah 44 and 4. I'm good? Okay, man. Jeremiah 44 and 4. So the woman shall not wear pants because you got to keep it real with me. What men look at? So if they cover their body up, now that man don't see your shape. He don't see your, your coochie print. He don't see none of that stuff. But sisters like the attention. So us as men got to stop entertaining that. Watch this. Jeremiah 44 verse 4. This is the last one for you. How be it I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. So God sent us out here to you, the prophets that's going to speak according to this Bible. Right? Rising early. And Rising early. Waking up. We came out here for you. And sending them. Uh -huh. Say, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. So God said when you wear pants, it's an abomination. And he said, do not this what? Abominable thing that I hate. God said he hates when you dress like that. Yes, he buddy. wants you to cover your body up. If not, death is coming. Right. So sister, we warning you, if you don't put the dress on, God is going to judge you. Nation is men leading by example.